This is the Woe Sports H1000 AG rangefinder. I have an older one like this. Well, it's like two years old. I think it's the H100, which has a battery. This one has a rechargeable battery in it. I think it's 800 milliamps. So it's going to take a couple hours to charge it. So you get the rangefinder itself. It's got this nice cloth case. It's got a little carabiner on the back if you want to hook that on your belt or something. It's got a magnetic case. Comes with a micro USB charging cable. Comes with a little hand lanyard. If you want to put that on there. Comes with a little cleaning cloth for the lens. A little unsatisfied, satisfied card. So you give you support numbers. <coughs> so this says it's the H101 would make more sense since my last one was a 100. It's only got basically two buttons, power on, power off, and mode button. I mean, there is the dip switches on the side, or dip switch, something new. So, I mean, this walks you through all the different steps, all the different modes. You can push and hold the power button for more than two seconds will allow you to switch from yards to meters. You can see in the basic operations in mode one, you can take one single measurement or you can push and hold the power button longer and it'll give you a continuous scan and keep giving you the, the angle. Yeah, it gives you the range and angle mode in one. Oh, it looks like my light's going out. So in two, which is normally what I use, it, you got the slope correction for golf. So it gives you your uphill, downhill or, you know, basically like if you want to look at the top of the building, it gives you an angle from the ground. The battery, it shows you, there's a little LED, LED light on here. You plug that in, turns red, turns green when it's charged. Like I said it should take a couple hours to do an 800 milliamp battery. So basically just Push the power button, turn it on, change to the mode you want. So you push the mode button twice to get the two. Or you can use this new dip switch. If you're in one, you can turn this on. If going forward it's on, you can see that little red, that means it's off. So on will take you automatically to two and turn on slope correction. It's pretty sweet for somebody that's golfing or needs that. I said the last operation, the, the third mode, gives you range and height. So if you want to need to know how far away something is or how high it is, like I said, you can see this dip switch here. You just push it forward to turn it on, push it back to turn it off. So this is pretty sweet. This is good for up to a thousand yards. Obviously in golf, I don't go that far. My last one was only good for about 190 yards locking the flag in. This, will, this does have flag lock and it vibrates when it sees it. And gives you a reading so you know you did it and you hit it it's pretty nice i really like this